One of the biggest concerns people have about electric cars is how long does the battery last? Today I'm going to show you how to check that. First thing you want to do is go into your software tab. Then what you want to do, press and hold on your Model 3, Model Y, Model X, whatever it happens to be for about 5 seconds and then you let go. This little keypad's going to come up. What you want to do is type in service. Press OK and enable. That's going to bring you to a screen that looks something like this. For your specific battery, you're going to want to go to high voltage. You're going to want to go to HV system. And right here, we'll tell you what your battery's health is at and the last time you were on the test. So just so everybody knows, when you first do this, it's not going to say anything. There's not going to be a percentage. There might be a little percentage and then a dash and just something weird that is not an actual percentage. Anyways, what you want to do for that is tap on the health test button right there. Now what this is going to do, it's going to show you the prompts and things that you have to do in order to activate the health test. So the first thing we're going to do is hold down the brake, that turns green, turn the right signal on for 8 seconds, that initiates the gateway opening and it looks something like that. Once that's done, you're going to have something, stop it, stop that. You're going to have something that looks like this, it tells you how long the gateway is open for. So when you go ahead and tap health test, there's going to be some certain things that you need to do. The biggest thing right here is that your charge has to be plugged in and has to be 50% or lower. Obviously, mine's too high to run the actual test. When you have the 50% or lower, you can go ahead and tap run and it'll run the actual test. You tap run when your battery's too high like mine. This is the warning that comes up and all the things you need to do to make the test happen. Just a few more tips so that people know. This test can take up to 24 hours. 50% is the bare minimum. I would suggest having your battery around 20, 25%. So what this test does is it'll completely kill your battery, but don't worry, your car is plugged in, so it will charge back up to 100%, and then it'll tell you what your actual health is. Another thing to be aware of is the actual gateway unlock. So I have heard several people say, depending where you live in the world, that you can't actually unlock the gateway. The reason for that is something called a geo lock that Tesla has. You could do a couple of things for this. You could A, go to a Tesla service center and have them run the test for you, or B, simply relocate your car closer to a service center and do that. Probably not the most convenient thing, as you'll have nowhere to plug it in, but it is an option. I have an update. Anyways, the best option is to just do it in your house, at your house, if you can do it. If not, Tesla will do it for you. You should be getting your vehicle looked at once a year anyhow, and they can do it then for you for free. I also know a lot of people are going to ask me how to exit. Little red door, just hold it for a few seconds and you're out. Service mode kind of has like its own super secret hidden menu that you probably shouldn't mess with, which is why I do it for you. So if you found this video helpful or interesting at all, consider following not to miss my next Tesla Tips video.